All right, Shalom, Yasharala. Peace, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who has taught us this truth. And also, peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out here laboring in truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth under the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash. All right. Um, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father who people ignorantly call God. Uh, Bahashim is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of our Lord and Savior. All right, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Bahashim, once again, is in the name. Baka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. All right, and that was said in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the, the 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 holy tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew. All right, and um, you know, just the brother uh, Karab here from the GMS Boston camp, and uh, I want to just touch on a quick lesson, uh, pertaining to a video I just saw. You know, and uh, Lord's will that this lesson be edifying. And as you see on the screen, you know, this is a, a video that was posted by Vlad TV. Cause you know, Vlad he usually goes around and um, or he invites people to to his studio uh, to do interviews, and he asks some questions. And you know, sometimes you know, I like to tune in and see uh, 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 the, uh, what's on the mental or what's on the minds of these people, these celebrities, and these rappers that he be interviewing. And um, I just so happened to see this uh, This title says Lecrae Which is an artist Alright He said Wouldn't care if all statues of white Jesus Were torn down Alright And this is a part four uh, to, to the interview Alright And You know As I was watching it You know um, One thing about our people You know Especially like these celebrities You know They uh, They They, they, they Kind of like they, they kind of tread lightly when speaking on certain information, all right? Certain topics. And with this truth, or with the truth itself, you know, the truth is just raw, you know? The truth, once you tell something in this truth, all right, it, it can it can offend, you know what I'm saying? It can belittle, it can, it can and it also can uh, help you. It can, it can build you up, you know? That's all... Uh, 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 that's, the, that's what the truth is about, you know? There's no cutting corners. It's straight, raw, and direct, all right? And when, you wanna, when you're speaking on topics such as uh, religion or, 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 or Christianity, uh, 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 about history, you have to give the truth of what's being mentioned, all right, or what the topic is. You know, with history, we know that a lot has been... Uh, a whitewash, I should say. You know, when you talk about the iconoclasm, you talk about the images of our Lord Yahweh Shah. All right, they 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 they, they whitewashed them back in the Renaissance uh, era. All right, the Renaissance time. All right, and with them whitewashing them, they also uh, push forth a Greek name, which isn't his name. All right, so you have to really go into all of that if you're gonna speak on the pulling down of 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 of, of white statues. And you got to inform the people on what his real depiction is. What he really looked like. What was it described as in the scriptures. Alright. You just can't say, oh, you know. And not just only that. Because I'm going to play a little portion, uh, a part of the video to, 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 to back up the point of why I'm going into this. Alright. And you can't say uh, 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 not to be offenses or offensive or, or uh, you know, to, to, to basically downplay, um, for the lack of better words, to downplay somebody's religion or belief. But truth be told, you know, you uh, respecting your belief might be disrespectful to other beliefs, so other people's beliefs. So, you know, uh, at the end of the day, there's still going to be a discourse or there's going to be a disagreement there. So you can't really put, you really can't uh, try to, it's just like you telling the truth, but then you want to, then you, then you kind of lighten up the truth, which is not wholeheartedly the truth. You have to give the whole truth a hundred percent truth, man. And that's what really matters, you know. All this extra, oh, I, I'm not trying to disrespect nobody's belief and, and religion and stuff like that. Once you stand on something, you're going to have people that's opposed to what you uh, represent, what you stand for, all right, and what you believe in, all right? So I'm going to go into a little quick, I'm going to go into it, uh, you know, Lord's Word once again, it's edifying, all right? So like it, bear with me. I don't I don't know why it's taking so long. Uh turn this off. It's time to step so up like prep up. Step up, prep up.
Well, I mean, speaking of believing in Jesus, recently Sean King, uh, the activist, yeah. uh, he did a post, you know, in the process of asking uh, for various racist monuments to be removed. Yeah. Someone asked him, well, should you remove Jesus statues as well? And he said, the white Jesus, absolutely, tear them all down. Yeah. You know, Jesus did not look like that. He was from the Middle East. You look at yeah. the Bible, you know, he he went to Israel to blend in. There were no white people to blend in with. And, you know, you could, you know, as someone, like I've been to Israel, you've been to Israel. Yeah. You and I clearly know white people were not inhabiting that area. Right. It's all, it's all brown people. Yeah. You know, it's way too hot yeah, <laughs> around there for, for people that look like me to to have settled on a large scale basis um so when you hear right, so, Sean all right, with that point you know they use they always go to that the geographical uh the, ge the geographic of 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 the um, the time you know when our lord was on the scene they looking at the land like oh in this area because it was too hot it makes sense that darker skinned people would reign in that or be or live in that area all right which when you go into the scripture, it talks about how Esau, Edom, all right, was dwelling in Mount Seir, all right. So when you look up Mount Seir, it's in that region of of Israel. It's in it's over there uh, by Jordan, all right. So truth be told, it's just not because oh yeah, it, uh, you know, because of the, the temperature, because of it's hot, of it being hot, you know what I'm saying? Um, it makes sense that you know. He wouldn't be he, he he would be a dark skinned man because really no white people usually live in that area because it was a hot climate. That's not the case, all right? Because you did have Edomites living around at those in those times. All right. King saying, let's tear down all the white Jesus statues. As a Christian, what do you think? Tear all the statues down. I'm with them. Tear them down. Cause straight up. First of all, I believe in more of like a, uh, the, the ancient Jewish perspective anyway. They say don't make no graven images. You ain't supposed to be making no kind of images of God in the first place. So I don't think you should have no statue of Jesus, point blank, period. That's my perspective on it. So I don't care if you tear him down. I, to me, that ain't nothing but a dude. That's a sculpture. I, I don't worship that dude. I'm not bowing down to them statues. So you can tear it all, the way, tear it down, tear them down everywhere. And that's true. As the scripture says, make no graven images, you know, and, and, and not to bow down nor worship him. So so he do have a point on that, as the scripture did say that, right? That was a commandment by the Heavenly Father, all right? You know what I'm saying? That ain't who I bow down to, you know what I mean? Okay, so so the giant Jesus statue in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, just knock it down I'm, and let it fall in the, in the ocean. And I'm saying it, it doesn't day. bother me either way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No disrespect to anybody who, you know, feels like that's a, a monument for them. I'm saying if it was torn down, I'm not gonna be sitting back like, dang, why they do that? You know, that's offensive to me. I'm not offended by it. Now, if you on some anti-Christian stuff and you like, man, down with the Christians. Now, now we have a problem. You know what I'm saying? But that's not. And a as he said, no disrespect to those that who, that memorial is, is set up for for their beliefs. But truth be told, if you want to take it down and it, to, to those people that believe and that wholeheartedly cleave onto that memorial or that image or that sign, you know, uh, it's going to be disrespectful. So you can't really be, you can't be straddling the fence when it comes to your stance on things, you know? You gotta really be uh, for it or you gotta be against it, all right? And um, as the scripture says, uh, uh, um, um, it's going even going back to the words, like, because when you speak, we have to speak the oracles of Yahweh by Shemi all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, and, 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 and oracles are coming by way of the scriptures, all right? The words, hold on, let me get it. Alright, bear with me. me Salaki, so I might I'm actually in transit, you know, so just bear with me. Alright, you know, I'ma just I'ma just end up pulling over. Just bear with me real quick. I wanna get this out. Right here. 
All right, and this is First Peter's four and eleven, and it reads, "If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. If any man ministers, let it, let him do it as the ability which Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai giveth. All right, and that Yahweh in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. All right, and let's look up that word oracles." Strong's G, 3051. Lagion. Lagion. All right, and it says a brief utterance, a divine oracle, doubtless because oracles were generally brief. In the New Testament, the words of utterance of the Most High and of the contents of Mo the Mosaic, Mosaic Law. All right, so it's talking about the, the, the words of Yahweh Bashim al the scriptures. All right. So if any man speak, let it be according to this book. Let it be according to the words that Yahweh Hashem Shah had brought forth and presented to us by way of the scriptures. All right. And then you also have um. Uh, let me get it. No light in. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Lock your building. Here you go, right here. So Isaiah eight and twenty, to and to the laws and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right. And for a Christian, a person that wholeheartedly believe. All right. Which truly, he's an Israelite. You know, but it, it, you know, Jake, 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 cleave onto this Christianity thing, which was presented, you know, saying to our people, uh, uh, to to dumb our people down. All right, but even in the scriptures, when it talks about the Christian, it's talking about the Israelites. All right, and when you go back into history, when they talk about how uh, the 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 Christians were persecuted in Rome for the burning down of Rome, it was talking about the Israelites. All right, so once again, as a Christian. Or as a man that say you believe in the scriptures, you gotta you gotta apply what you know. All right, that's just like um, uh, that's just the basics, uh, basic necessities. That's just like um, you doing a job as a construction worker, you have to use the tools and get the tools for the job in order for you to do the job right. All right, and and in this work, and if you believe this, this is this is something you stand by, man. As the scripture said, man, you know we are to defend the doctrine, def defend the gospel, man. You know, not partially, not 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 when 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 it just comes up or whenever you know what I'm saying whenever a question is asked, you have to do this uh, 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 or, or all around the clock. You know, even when you're sitting down in your living room to when you're out and you're preaching or you're out in your your, your your you know on your daily journeys. You know, so once again going back to the dude, man, he was just saying all that. But first and foremost, you have to provide the proof. You have to provide the scriptures. All right. To back up your points So so there can be an understanding Because a person like Vlad He'll take the information And he'll try to flip it on you And, and, and make it as where This is uh, uh, coming from you And make, you know what I'm saying Coming from uh, uh, like, like, uh, like your own personal opinion Where if you provide the scripture You provide the proof There's no way that can be used against you Alright So I'm going to go back to the video Mark of I don't feel personally attacked by you doing that, you know, as a Christian. I'm not like, hey, bro, what you doing? Like, that doesn't bother me because I'm like, man, I don't know who that dude is. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, the Christian symbol is a cross, which Jesus was nailed. Christians to, made it uh, across. Christians made it across, but that's not the symbol of it, though. They made it like that's really okay. a disrespectful monument for Jewish people. You know what I'm saying? Because they was all because Jews were crucified up and down Rome you know, on those crosses. So, you know, the cross is not necessarily like, you don't have to have the, cro uh, uh, to, to bow down to a cross. The cross is, is supposed to be symbolic of the death that took place, but it's really just symbolic of saying, look, a price was paid for y'all. Whether it was a cross, electric chair, or 
stabbing, however it happened, sacrifice was made on y'all's behalf. So I don't, for me. So so even with that, you know, but the, but the, but him asking about the cross, first and foremost, you're supposed to give praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, that says he is worthy to be praised, and because of 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 what he has done to buy back Israel, uh, you know, saying to get us back. You know, when you look up the word redemption, it talks about a payment of ransom. All right, so the Lord already paid. The Lord, by him going up on the cross, he already paid for our sins, for the sins of Israel, and His own. All right, so now when He comes back, as the Scripture says, uh. uh when you see these things, look up for your redemption draft nine. All right, that's that's the that's the second part of it, of because we was purchased, we was bought back to the uh, the Most High by by way of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and now we're actually being uh, uh we've been freed. All right, we're gonna be freed out this captivity. So when you look up that word redemption, it goes back to 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 that a payment of a ransom. All right, and that's what he did. So you don't worship. Or the cross You're not supposed to worship the cross You're supposed to uh, give praises on and glory to The heavenly father through his only begotten son That that, that Because if it wasn't the heavenly father Using his only begotten son Alright We would still be We would, we would still be in a, a jacked up You know We wouldn't have the promises We wouldn't We would be uh, 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 You know uh, Destroyed man Alright Because we all fall, uh, and I'm talking about uh, Jake, I'm talking about the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, and also those that are scattered amongst the other nations whose line, lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We was all we all went off, all right? The law, statutes, commandments was for us, so we all went off. But now, that's that, that's, that, that's so with the cross, you have to uh, give praises to the, the Most High, all right, through his, and his only begotten son. Me, the, the, the fish symbol was the original symbol of the Christian me, symbol. Me. Okay, so do you actually have crosses yourself? Uh, so I'm, now what I mentioned earlier about you got to be careful on what you say because this dude Vlad was use it against you, all right? Because his whole job duty is to, uh, 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 you know, if he can get an interview that's very controversial, he's going for the views. This is what he gets paid for, you know? So you got to be careful on what you say around him because he will use it against you. And as you can see on his, on his arm, he got a tattoo, which he's going to show. All right. In like my ju house. jewelry or anything. Yeah, I got a cross tattoo. Or... It's a cross tattoo to my arm. But th OK, so so you're telling me that you have an issue with the cross, but you have a tattooed on your arm. Because, like I said, grace and space. Like when I originally got that, I never thought about that. I never considered those perspectives. So, you know, people mature, they grow, they uh, again, it's not like something I condemn somebody for. Like, why you got that cross on your neck? But I, I know better. As you grow, you you learn. And I'm like, OK. Like being 100, most of the, the 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 way I've come to understand Christianity historically has been through the lenses and the eyes of white Europeans and Americans. But Christianity predates Europe and America. You know what I'm saying? There there's there's histories of Christianity in Africa before it ever got to Europe. There's histories of Christianity in Japan before it ever got to Europe. So we have this real narrow view, just the same way we have a narrow view of Black history. We don't know the all right, going back to the diaspora, which are the scattered Israelites, and I'm going to get a quick um, precept on that. Just something real quick. James 1. All right. This is James 1 and 1. It says, James is servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh Shahamashak to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. All right. Scattered. All right. Once you, and, and, and also in... in, in um. In uh, Deuteronomy, part of the curses that we was gonna, uh, uh, you know, he's gonna take us, take us out of land, and he was gonna scatter us. All right, let me look at it real quick. Right here, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and sixty-four, and it says, "Then the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people, from the one ends of the earth even unto others, uh, even unto the other, and thou shalt serve other gods." Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And it's going back into the whole topic that's being mentioned. All right, our people were scattered by, by because of us going off. You know, so uh, this with with the scattering that means Israelites are all across the the globe, man, the, all across the earth, man. All right, and what happens is, you know, as 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 the scattering happened, you know, our enemies had a servant other gods. 
when you read uh, the book of Maccabees, you had Antiochus that wanted us to put away our, uh, uh, our customs. All right. They wanted us to put away our customs and you had Israelites that went uh, went with it, you know, that really followed through and put away their customs. All right. So it's showing you that this was all prophetic, man. This was a prophecy that came to pass. All right. Because at the time when Moses was telling this to the children of Israel, it didn't happen as of yet. But uh, but look 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 where we at. We're in uh, 2020, the year of prophecy, and you have Israelites. Once you once you come uh, when you wake up to this truth, you realize that damn we're, we're scattered amongst every nation, man. We're we're amongst every people. All right, and by way of the scriptures, first and foremost. All right, and this is um, that you was gonna uh, even worship. Um, I'm gonna read it again. It says. Um, and the Lord Yahweh, this Deuteronomy 28 and um, 64, it says, And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people, and from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there shalt thou serve other gods. All right? And Cesare Borzea, the so-called white Jesus, is another god. It's not our true power, man. That's not the Heavenly Father, and nor that's not his only begotten son. So white Jesus is not the, 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 the true depiction of our Lord and Savior. And his name is not Jesus. That's not even the name of our Lord and Savior. And it says, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. All right. So you have our people into everything. You have them into Buddhism. You have them into uh, Roman Catholicism. You have them into uh, this modern day Christianity, that's, which is deterred and, 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 and separate from uh, 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 the Israelite custom. All right. As you see, we had mentioned in tattoos and he said he was ignorant. That, that, so that's why he got it. It was, he was in an ignorant state of mind He didn't know what he knew All right But truth be told If you read the scripture The scripture talks about There should be no marking in the skin All right So so even that Could have been mentioned During this interview You know That could have been mentioned If if you wholeheartedly believe You know So I'm gonna go back to the To, to the uh, The video We don't know about Massa Musa We don't know about the historic African leaders and, and the di and, you know the diaspora and the whole nine like we just know this this narrow view so that's the narrow view we know of Christianity all oh, the slave masters narrow view and the cross is more like a you know a, he he was nailed to a Roman the cross was a Roman torture situation it was not something that the Jews embraced it wasn't something that Jesus was embraced he said take up your cross but he wasn't saying like yo we rock the cross he was saying like be ready to, to ride or die for this you know what I mean right but if you look worldwide I would say that Christians, you know, let's just say necklaces. Yeah. You know, more Christians will wear a cross necklace than probably any other symbol. Facts. Worldwide. Facts. Facts. And I, but, but I'm saying, worldwide, darker skinned people are in the worst conditions. You know what I'm saying? That don't make it the right thing. It just means that there's a, a dominant perspective. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, and, and, and why is that? All right. Once again, we in Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to verse 15. All right. And it says, um, I'm going to read verse 1 and I'm going to jump down. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass that if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of thy Lord, thy power, to observe and do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord, thy power, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. All right. All nations of the earth. All right. So. What is he saying? If 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 we if we followed, we kept the law, statutes, and commandments, we would be blessed above all nations. We wouldn't be going through the situation of what we're going through today. Our nation would be on high. We would be uh, ruling the earth. All right. We'll be we'll be in the governing body as is is going to attend to be, which is going to be soon by way, because of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know what I'm saying? Um, in, 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 in the, in the um, pain of our, our depths, you know, so 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 bringing us back to the heavenly Father, all right. So so it was hap it was meant to happen this way for a, a reason, all right. But when you go down to verse fifteen, and it says, "But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day." And all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. So now you have from uh, from from verse 15 on down to 68. It's telling you all the curses that we're going to go through. And this is what our people are under even up to until today. All right. So hence why he mentioned that. Uh, uh, he said darker skinned people. But 
uh, it's, 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 it's just not only dark skinned people You know you have uh, the northern kingdom They're a lighter, lighter shade of brown Alright So you have to be specific It's mainly talking about the Israelites Because the law statute commandments was given only to the Israelites Alright I'm saying there's something that There was a narrative that was pushed And a narrative that was lost Like most of the writings about Christianity From Africans and Ethiopians They, they were burned or they were destroyed. Like when I went to Egypt, I saw, you know, a lot of the uh, the Coptic Christians and some of the stuff that they had, and they was destroying some of the ancient Egyptian stuff. So histories get destroyed by other per people who are, you know what I'm saying, like in opposition. So that's why I just don't, I don't believe the narratives. I see it for what it is, and I'm not mad at you. Like you got grace and space to grow. You want to wear a cross, wear a cross. Like, because in your mind. And, and, and see, that's confusion. That's confusion. If as the Lord say, man, um, if you see the sword coming and you don't warn your people, then that blood's going to be on your hands. Don't tell them, don't tell the people that it's wrong to wear a cross. Or it's not, it, it, that symbol isn't a, a good representation. It doesn't, it, it doesn't mean any good. But then later on says, oh, if you want to wear a cross, wear a cross, you know. You, 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 you're delivering the wrong message now. Now that's what that's what I was going into about you know. It's it's, it's about it's a, it's about a manner of truth, man, and standing on the truth. All right, because it's easily it, it, you you can try to um, how can I say it? The scripture talks about respect of uh, not having a respect of person and judgment and all these different things, man. Because if you try to cater to someone's feelings. It's going to cloud the judgment It's going to cloud your judgment And it's going to deliver uh, uh, It's going gonna, it's gonna to water down the message Or the, uh, the, the, the Yeah, the message that's supposed to be pushed The, 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 the lesson that's supposed to be learned Alright If you have favor in one person Alright and, and, and let's say two people get in trouble And you have favor over one Over the next You know You have That, that person that you have favor in you know, they're not going to get the same exact punishment as the person that, that you don't have favor in. But once again, when you say no respect of person, you know, let me get it real quick, man. It's a lot, yeah. Just bear with me real quick. It says um, Deuteronomy 1 and 17 You shall not respect persons in judgment But you shall hear the small as well as the great Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man For the judgment is Yahweh's And the cause that is too hard for you Bring it unto me and I will hear it Alright So he says not to have a respect of person in judgment Alright And it also goes in the message that's being delivered Because once again Whose message is Whose message are we supposed to declare? What message are we pushing? This isn't from us, all right. And and and, and I say this because you know, as a Christian, you know they they still they say that they believe in the Bible. So if you say you believe in the Bible, you got to stand on the principles of the Bible, all right. Let me go back to uh. There you go another one. It says um, Leviticus nineteen and fifteen. You shall not. You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. All right. So, so delivering a message as if you want to wear the cross, but the cross is not a good thing, you know, then, 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 then you're, you're, you're sowing confusion. You're trying to honor your faith, but that may not, but, but you just don't know that that's. That's not necessary. Like wearing a cross is not a necessary. I mean, you know, a necessary aspect. Now, no, no disrespect to my Catholic friends out there who probably feel like, no, nah, this is key to what we believe. But I'm not a Catholic. You know what I'm saying? I personally believe that it's my faith in Jesus, not my faith in a symbol. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just saying no disrespect to the Catholic, but this all one book, man. We got it. That's, that's that's the thing, man. It's. You know, this is this is it's only one you know saying one truth, all right. You go back to, to 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 you go back in the history. You go back into knowing the scriptures. 
you know, you have many different uh, different versions that was watered down or, or, or translated in different ways uh, to make it easier for certain people to read and understand. But you got to go to the original way. You know what I'm saying? You could just get yourself a 1611. But mainly, you, you could say a Christian or a Catholic or, you know, they all believe in the Bible. So that's supposed to be the common ground, right? You're supposed to... Uh, 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 you supposed to be um, have that that common denominator, which you supposed to uh, follow. So now you can't say no disrespect to uh, Catholic or your Catholic friends that believe in the cross, you know. Because at the end of the day, once again, it's all it's all confusion, and um, mainly it's just because our people don't know the way of the truth, man. They might they might hear a little bits and pieces and they cleave onto that, but then they still have that you know have their foot in the world, you know and. As scripture says, love not the world, neither the things that are in it. So, because at the end of the day, what's going to happen? This place is going to get burnt up. All right. So, um, let me see. I probably got one more. Um, uh, what is it? And this, and this message is just the uh, um, uh, Lord's will to edify, you know, and and just and just give guidance unto those who who who. who how can I say it? who? Uh, looking for looking for the proper instruction because you might you might look at this video and and and, and 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 may feel the same exact way, but that this guy, the rapper Lecrae, or he might even check out this video if it's the Lord's will. And, but at the end of the day, once you got to understand that once you go into talking about uh, uh, the scriptures, you're talking about the you know Bible, you're talking about the history of the scriptures, you have to stick to. The, the foundation which is the scriptures And you have to wholeheartedly stand on it And you have to declare the truth Because regardless of what you believe Or what you don't believe Guess what? What happened and what's going to stand Is the words of Yahweh Hashem El Shai Alright and this is Romans 3 and 3 It says for what if some did not believe Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Hashem El Shai without effect It says God forbid Yet let the Most High be true But every man a liar all right, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right, so he said, Let every man be, at least, said, let the most high be true and every man a liar. It's, it's not about us, and it's, it'll never, you know what I'm saying? It, would, it wouldn't be about us. All right, if we're not, if we're not coming in the name of Yahweh Shem El Shan, coming to his word, coming by, uh, by way of his words and speaking his words, then A, you know, it just shows you if you're not coming in his words, uh, there's no light in you. All right, so you have to, you have to, you have to follow uh, the, the the guidelines, and the guidelines is the scripture. Because once again, what's going to come is is what the Most High said. It was impending destruction for those that don't believe. All right, and and, and even if they do believe, but they don't believe in the scripture, they don't believe in truth. For you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, if you don't believe that you're Israelite, uh, you know, guess what? You got to look forward to. You know, scripture says all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, because because there's only one truth. All right. So, so with that, you know, Lord's will. This lesson was edifying, and um, you know, uh, just you know, just just keep pushing for the Akim out there. Keep pushing, you know, keep doing your thing, you know. And with that, I want to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Makar, Kadash, double honors to apostles and elders of Great Millstone who go well and who has taught us this truth, and also peace and salutation to the whole elect. And with that, I want to say Shalom, Ababa, and Kwam Yasharala.